Welcome to another video tutorial. Are you preparing for a PhD interview or going to appear before a selection committee and wondering what they might ask? So in this video, I will share my top 10 questions which you can expect when shortlisted for a position based on my own personal interview experiences. So let's dive in. The first question can be why do you want to pursue a PhD? So by this question, interviewer want to know your motivation. I mean, is it curiosity, a stepping stone toward academia or a specific goal? So you need to be honest, clear about your reasons. The second question can be why are you interested in this particular project, lab or university? So this will test your background research. I mean, you need to show how your interest align well with the lab work and why their environment suits your goal. So the third question can be, I mean, they will ask, tell us about your previous research experience. So in this question, you need to summarize your project techniques used and what you have discovered. So you need to keep it relevant to your PhD project if possible. And the fourth question can be, what do you know about this research we do in this lab? So actually through this question, they want to see if you are genuinely interested and mention their key paper like methods and the research question they have already worked on. So the next question, I mean, what skills and the techniques can bring you to the project? So by this question you need to mention i mean hands-on lab or computational skills that match the project needs whether it is pcr r scales or anisic data analysis i mean you can discuss all those techniques one by one so the sixth question is describe a challenge you faced in your research and how you handled it i mean this is the most important question and um, because you know science is always full of obstacles i mean you need to highlight your resilience problem solving and ability to perform under pressure i mean you can also mention a few examples i mean how you cope with those challenges you faced in your previous studies so let's move to next question and uh, and the question number seven can be i mean how do you handle failure or unexpected results 